It's February 1st, 2016 at North Shore Country Club. Just I uh, want to do a real high level quick review uh, to kind of document the early stages of some of the experiments we're conducting in the greenhouse here. Um, I'll go step by step, but the overall purpose of this study is to uh, try to better understand what options there might be in putting green construction in the sense of root zone amendments. So there's an 8515 industry standard using sphagnum peat in uh, most of these trials that we're comparing against uh, biochar and various organic amendments and compost. So this batch here was all seeded um, on uh, January 20th. And these, um, it's just, it's a random test, three reps each. And I'm not gonna go over any kind of results right now. I just kind of want to show you some of the differences. We used pen mulch as a mulching material with the, um, with the seed. It's a 007 seed. We use the same exact amount of seed in each one of these trials. And you can see that some of them are growing a little more full than others, hopefully with this light. There we go. And then this set of trials are, oh yeah, by the way, this is the one that has the different biochar with various composted materials like biosolids, biosolids, and yard waste compost combined, uh, vermicompost. And, um, and several others. This one here is the one that really is exciting that just was seeded on the 26th of January. So this one's just getting started. In fact, just two days ago, I saw the first seeds popping here Saturday. And um, so this one's just getting started. But uh, this one here has the same amount of biochar, 10% by volume and the same USGA red zone, or red zone sand and um, compared against an 8515 sphagnum peat but all these treatments with the biochar the, uh, the biochar was preconditioned in various ways so they, all the biochar was preconditioned in the same way in that the same amount of fertilizer with a little bit of a carbon energy source uh, the biochar was pre-soaked in that for several hours and then uh, for 48 hours each one of these reps again there's three each has different biologicals added to the biochar so basically what we're doing here is testing which biologicals uh, enhance plant health and vigor and perhaps even drought stress later on or drought tolerance I should say and uh, which ones play nicely with the biochar and I'll show you an example of the biologicals here in a minute so that's one group, it's the second group. Over here is just a side-by-side -side comparison. What we tried to make was um, some kind of method that we can actually see the roots growing through the plastic, like a rhizotron. And uh, it's really hard to see the difference. But this one here is a 5% biochar, 10% vermicompost compared to the peat moss 8515. The P stands for the peat. You can see on the top, certainly there's a growth difference, but we're really trying to document what's happening more so underground. So these are old windshields from golf carts that were cracked that we salvaged and made these little rhizotrons. So there's, there's four inches, here I'll unwrap this, there's four inches of pea gravel at the bottom with a drain tube and then a 12 inch ridge zone. So we're trying to really mimic what you would see in a USJ, you know, oh my goodness, you can see the roots. I wonder if you can see that in here. You can see these roots are all the way down to here. And this, these are up to only about here. Let's see what's happening with this one. I don't usually uncover these too often. So this one here, we built a little different on a slant, hoping that we could see the roots perhaps a little better. Oh my God. All right, so this one, I can't quite see the roots yet. But again, this side here is the peat, this side here is the uh, biosolid, so this is the industry standard compared to a biosolid vermicompost. This is uh, excellent, this is the first time I really got to see this, but you have to look really close. I wonder if you can see it on this lens. So right about here is where the uh, peat moss rooting stops, and this one here, 
looks like uh, it's, a, it's all the way down to about here. Okay, so now this is another series of tests, just a side by side comparison. 8515 peat, to January 5th. This is a 5% vermicompost, 5% biochar. And what we're trying to do here is grow this hydroponically in hopes that you can see how dark that water is from the organic amendments versus the peat, much clearer. So um, we're trying to get this so the roots grow through this felt-like material into the water, aer aerated water, that has the, um, let's just say, the enhanced biology with the vermicompost biochar versus the uh, weak biology, if you will, um, that the peat tends to offer. And our hope is that you'll see roots growing through this and they're just starting to peek through. Maybe you can see those little white root hairs. So our hope is that we can pick these up and compare side by side what the roots are doing. Then over here, this tape's getting long, but here is our bank of biologicals. There's all kinds of them here. Some of them are geared towards thatch reduction. That's a keen interest in mine. Um, so you've got different white fungi, some bacteria. Um, we use um, this as a food source, a car carbon food source. It's uh, uh, lignin sulfate. Soil success is a whole group of organisms. Biomega, the same. Um, EcoGars, a type of strain of bacillus. That's a kind of a compost tea. Rhapsody's another strain of bacillus. This one's a vermicompost extract tea in here from uh, Terravesco. We got trichoderma here with the root shield. We got a whole bank of different uh, mycorrhizae in here. Here we have a whole slew of different biologicals, mycorrhizae, trichoderma, and um, bacillus and pseudomonas. It sanctuaries probiotics, another thatchy leaf material batch eliminator material here. So these are all these biologicals that I referenced over here in that study that had the same amount of biochar, the same sand, but the biochar was pre-soaked for 48 hours. I call it precondition. <clears throat> here are some of what the parent materials look like. This is what the bio styles look like anaerobically digested. This is the vermicompost, very nice consistent material. This is the um, Miramichi soil enhancer which is 50 percent biochar 50 percent um, composted swine manure good product there and this is straight biochar this is what it looks like clean straight up biochar um, then one last thing here i want to show you is we took a divot uh, not a divot rather a piece of sod that looks like a divot this is from a putting green i harvested this sod this spring so this has been dried out pressure washed dried out air blown dry. I'm trying to get it down to just clean thatch. And you can see it's a good half inch mat here of material that just resists um, decomposition in a putting green setting. So we took ma some material like this and then we buried it in a bucket full of these vi uh, various biological uh, materials including the vermicompost and the um, biosolids. So you can see we got a great amount of fungal biomass happening here, but what's fascinating, the whole idea of this, by the way, is to find the uh, organisms that will find this organic material as a food source and, and break it down. But look at the poa seed that is growing. Hopefully you can see that. That, that this divot here, let me see if I can pick it up. See this? I keep calling it a divot, but it's really the same thatch that looked just like this. I took a piece of this, I buried it in here, and uh, kept it moist, and then this, all, this, all these biologicals started to grow and colonize it, you can see here. But what happened was the seed bank, the seeds that lay dormant in this narrow little band of dead sod, is the poa seed that was deposited <laughs> when it was a putting green. And you can see it's starting to reestablish a stand of turf. Just amazing, amazing. Um, this is just a little, um, uh, what should I say, a little um, amount of a, of a little vein of bio, uh, biochar. I'm also wanting to see if this biochar will become colonized with this biology as well. You can see this is some kind of moldy fungal biomass. And that's really what I'm trying to uh, focus on. And then 
Um, we got all kinds of little experiments going on here, but this here is a mulch study. But at any rate, hopefully you'll find it interesting. We'll do another video or two of these as we see the results and perhaps be more structured when we talk about it one by one and talk more about perhaps the results.